Hey, how y'all doing? It's Josh from Keep It Techie. And today I want to do a continuation video on uh, the Ubuntu server install. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a file share uh, using Samba. Uh, Samba was uh, pre-installed um, when we went through the installation of the server that we did in the VM. I showed you guys. So, um, should be pretty easy because we don't have to install anything. I'm going to just show you how to set it up. Um, and like I was saying, I'm, I've been using um, Samba for years. Um, I have a Samba server, well, file share set up on my Ubuntu server that that me and the whole family use to share and uh, move files around within our home network. Um, you know, it's a great alternative for NASes. Uh, you know, you can you can go to the store and buy a NAS. Uh, people pay hundreds of dollars for NAS. And you can set up a file share that's very similar to, to having a NAS um, uh, on a Ubuntu server on an old, old computer you have sitting around that you might want to throw away. Uh, you can actually set that up as a share. And, um, and you can access it, you know, globally. You can go anywhere and access the share. Um, you just have to make sure you set the permissions correctly and, and open up ports on your network. But, um, I mean, the only limits to having this is the hard drive space. You can upgrade your computer and add, you know, hard drives and, and create a partition and you can share that whole partition throughout the network. So, as big as you want it. I know hard drives are getting cheaper. Um, now, uh, you can get very big, big terabyte drives for you know very cheap amount of money and uh, install them into your system and there you go you have a big share of for movies music and all that type of stuff okay so let's get started okay I already have the uh, Ubuntu server uh, up and running in the VM uh, and I'm gonna do all the configuration uh, via SSH so you can see it uh, better so SSH Antman at uh, Ubuntu. Sorry, yeah. So first time logging in, it always do that. Uh, it'll get the key. It's a two fifty six key. It'll it'll put it in in uh, your local uh, known host file. That way, um, if that changes, if that key changes, or if it's a different fingerprint, uh, when you log into the server again, it'll notice it and say, hey, this may be a man in the middle attack. So, uh, it's just a good thing I wanted to point out. So anyway, uh, finish logging in, it's the password, good to go. So now we logged into it. Um, so the first step we want to do is modify the config file. Um, and actually before we modify it, I always like to make a backup of it. Uh, just so we can um, we can revert back to that if we mess up the configuration file. And I do this on all the configuration files that I work with uh, over time. So this is normally what I do, I hit sudo copy uh, the actual file, which is uh, Etsy, uh, Samba, and SMB. Okay, and then uh, basically, I want to copy it in the same directory, um, and I just change the name of it by adding something to the end of it. BCK is what I normally add to all my files, so yeah. Okay, so now we good, and we can make sure it worked by typing this command, the ls command, which is um, basically a list, list the directory, list what's in the directory. So yeah, and we can see that that file has been created, and this is that copy of the original uh, config file. So now we can modify it. So let's clear some of this. So let's go sudo by etc samba uh, smb.config 
So, at the top of the file, I wanted to point out that this is the work group. You can set this to um, whatever you have on your network. Like some people set up a Windows work group uh, and they'll change the name of it. But this is the default name for it. So as long as you leave it as work group, which is what it is, um, then it'll, it'll, it'll uh, be recognized on the network by uh, by the Windows machines because by default, you know, work group is the work group. That's the, the name of it is work group, and um, you can see that by going into you know the system settings um, in Windows and you can see what work group you're you're uh, added to. So that's all I want to say about that. All right, and the way you modify this config file for the share purpose um, is you basically go down to the bottom. And you have to put in a specific format. And uh, in order to modify these files using uh, by, you have to hit insert first. Um, that way you can kind of open the file in edit mode. So let's start by typing in our share and we want to create the share, um, the name of it. So whatever you put here will be the name that shows up on it. On the network so we can I'll just name it some simple share and then uh, we'll go in and add a comment uh, I didn't mean to put a capital uh, and let's just name it family share okay and then that's just a comment so like if you hover over the folder once it's uh, you know, activate it. It'll it'll say like family share over it in the kind of comments. Um, all right. So the next next thing we need to type in is the path, uh, and I just want to point out that this is case sensitive. So just make sure whatever you create, whenever you create the folder, that uh, you create it in the same case that you used here. Otherwise, it won't work. It won't find the uh, location of the share. So that's that's why I'm gonna put it in this pretty simple uh, spot. You could put it anywhere. Um, it can even be on like a uh, a drive that you have plugged in, like an external drive that you have plugged into the server, uh, or you can add a physical drive into the into the uh, system. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so. Next thing we want to do is make it browsable. And you basically just type yes that you want it browsable or no that you don't don't want it browsable. So uh, yes, okay, and we want to do yes. And I'm just making it easy. You can get kind of crazy to make the uh, permissions. Uh, a whole lot better um, I might do another video later on um, to show you guys how to how to work with permissions groups users and all that uh, when working with share drives um, so yeah we don't want to make this read only because we want people to be able to write to it or whoever connects to it to write to it um, and then we'll create the mass Mass zero seven five. All right, cool. So now, now that we've uh, built the share, um, we can go down and save it. And uh, buy if you're new to buy, uh, it's kind of a weird way to, to save it. So the way you get out of edit mode or insert, you have to press escape first, and then you uh, type colon and WQ and the W stands for write and the Q stands for quit so that's what it's going to do it's going to write the changes that we made to the file and quit the file so enter cool so now we're good to go on that so now we have the configuration file set up so now we can go in and create the folders that we want to 
use as the share so um, it's pretty easy just uh, sudo make directory dash p and the reason I'm doing dash p it uh, it basically uh, creates a tree um, I mean it creates the tree of folders so you can put as many folders underneath here and you create each folder uh, underneath uh, as you go down the whole directory tree so if the like for instance um, the sample folder is not there I'm pretty sure it's not and I can I can tell it's not there by hitting the tab uh, if it was there it would tab out like for instance the SR see it tabbed out well Samba is not there that folder is not there and then obviously the share folder is not there so normally you would if you if you didn't have the P option uh, selected you would have to do make directory then SRV dash Samba to make that folder and then you would have to come back and do the command again and do SRV Samba and share so to minimize the amount of commands you have to do you have to use the P option which will create the whole tree it'll create the Samba folder and then it'll create the share folder underneath it with one command so just wanted to point that out this it's a good little tip if you uh, didn't know so once we do that let's change the permissions on these things change the owner really um, ch own and it's just something I've, that I've always done. You don't have to do this. Um, and no group. I always do this. And, and that's because when I first read how to do this, this is uh, what they explained in the file how to do. How to, how to actually set up the share. And so I do this on all my shares. Um, Alright, so... Um, so we're good with that all right so now we have everything set up we modified the config file and we added the the folder that we wanted to for the share so now in order to get it to actually work um then we'll have to uh, restart the server well not restart the server but restart the services for our sample so uh we can go pseudo system System CTL um, restart um, and then the services are SM uh, BD dot service and then M M uh, BD dot service and then uh, one of the services of restart the Samba services is for Samba. Another one is for uh, picking up the new configuration that we uh, that we set up. So uh, we can run this command now and we get to go. And then also we can test what we um, put in place in the config file. Uh, I'm sorry. Test test point. Uh, and this will test to make sure that a share is set up. And it is, as you can see, see family share right here. So that's our our share. So let's clear that out, and now we can we can test the test the share to make sure it works. So uh, I'm gonna just use my uh, host computer for that. Um, then we go into let's see other locations. And as you see, the server showing up there. So you run to and share and that's our share uh, right there and it's working so let's just test it by create another folder just to make sure it all works create a folder and then uh, let's just copy a file over there and make sure it works good good to go so now it works. That's our share drive, and you can you can find it on you can find the share in Windows as well. I'm not gonna go through and show you guys that because um, when I open up two VMs, 
on my system it kind of kind of blows blows up <laughs> everything uh, even though I have like four processors well eight processors and uh, like 16 gigs of RAM so it's uh, it can handle it I just don't like to do it um, so I'm not gonna show you guys that but I'm pretty sure it works I mean if you can find it from your your host computer or any computer on the network then, then uh, it works so uh, yeah so um, thanks for watching my video I hope you learned something from this if, if you didn't know um, but uh, if you liked it please please uh, hit the thumbs up button share uh, and, and subscribe if you haven't already um, and of course you already know it keep it techie